let's spend our time on Jesus. You know, he's given us eternity and we can cash in this time <laughs> to walk with him in the heaven of heavens because you're in him, you know. Whoever's been baptized into the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. Where's the Lord? The heaven of heavens cannot contain him. Where are you? In the Lord? <laughs> Let's spend some time focusing on him and surrendering so we can grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is King. We're on January 6th by spending time just getting our mind washed by the washing waters of His words. Hallelujah. I am able to do far beyond all that you can ask or imagine. Come to me with positive expectations, knowing that there is no limit to what I can accomplish. Amen. Ask my spirit to control your mind so that you can think great thoughts of me. <laughs> Holy Spirit, just take the reins of our minds and just point them right at Jesus Christ so we can know the, the thoughts, the intents, and all the wonderful things that you are thinking about us, God. In Jesus' name. Whoa, Shama. Whoa. <laughs> That's a good prayer right there. Hallelujah. Wow, do not, de <laughs> do not be discouraged by the fact that many of your prayers are not are yet unanswered. Time is a trainer teaching you to wait upon me, to trust in me in the dark. To trust me in the dark. The more extreme your circumstances, the more likely you are to see my power and glory at work in this situation. <laughs> Instead of letting difficulties draw you into worrying, try to view them as setting the scene for my glorious intervention. Keep your eyes and your mind wide open to all that I am doing in your life. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians 3, 20 to 21. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. Romans 8, 6. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall melt up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 30 to 31. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them singing to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. Revelation chapter 5, 13. Glory. Jesus says, It is impossible to praise or thank me too much. <laughs> Amen. As it is written, I inhabit the praises of my people. Sometimes your adoration is a spontaneous overflow of joy in response to radiant beauty or rich blessings. At other times, your praise is more disciplined and measured, an act of your will. I dwell equally in both types of praise. Thankfulness also is a royal road to draw near me. A thankful heart has plenty of room for me. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, for these words today. Thank you for just fueling us to walk with you in the divine nature, in the cloud of witnesses. A witness is someone who has seen and heard you. And we only want to see you. We only want to hear you. Every other voice, every other word, let it just fall off of us now. Let the words of our Master and and King, let those words be magnified in Jesus' name. <laughs> wow, it feels really good in the temple of the Holy Spirit today. <laughs> oh, when you thank me, 
for the many pleasures I provide. You affirm that I am God from all from whom all blessings flow. When adversity strikes and you thank me anyway, your trust in my sovereignty is a showpiece in in the invisible realms. Fill up the, the spare moments of your life with praise and thanksgiving. This joyous discipline will help you live in the intimacy of my presence. Man, it feels peaceful here today. Praise you, Lord. <laughs> praise the, we praise your power, God. We praise you for your presence. We praise you for your peace. We praise you for your deliverance. Thank you for the mind of Christ to interpret by wisdom the hidden mysteries that you have revealed for us to find. <laughs> He's hidden them in the secret place of his presence that opens up our eyes, the eyes of the blind, so that we can see the kingdom of heaven by just going through the, the torn veil, that is to say his flesh, to see the kingdom of heaven. Wow, Jesus, shut up. Where do we leave off here? Uh, I'm going to read the last line. Fill up the spare moments of your life with praise and thanksgiving. This joyous discipline will help you live in the intimacy of my presence. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Psalm 22, 3. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing to praise my God as long as I live. Psalm 146, 1 and 2. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Glory. January 8th. Softly I announce my presence. Shimmering hues of radiance tap gently at your consciousness, seeking entrance. Though I have all power in heaven and on earth, I am infinitely tender with you. The weaker you are, the more gently I approach you. Let your weakness be a door to my presence. Ooh, that's good right there. Let your weakness be a door to my presence. Whenever you feel inadequate, remember that I am your ever-present help. Hope in me, and you will be protected from depression and self-pity. Hope is like a golden cord connecting you to heaven. The more you cling to this cord, the more I bear the weight of your burdens. Thus you are lightened. Heaviness is not of my kingdom. Cling to hope. And my rays of light will reach you through the darkness. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 46.1 Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans 12.12 Oh, Shaka, thank you, Holy Spirit. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit <laughs> romans 15:13 i am with you and for you when you decide on a course of action that is in line with my will nothing in heaven or on earth can stop you you may encounter many obstacles as you move towards your goal, but don't be discouraged. Never give up. With my help, you can overcome any obstacle. Whoa, Shaka. Do not expect an easy path as you journey hand in hand with me, but do remember that I am your very present helper. Am omnipotent. Much, much stress results from your wanting to make things happen before their times have come. One of the main ways I assert my sovereignty is in the timing of events. If you want to stay close to me and do things my way, ask me to show you the path forward moment by moment. Instead of dashing headlong towards your goal, let me set the pace. Slow down 
and enjoy the journey in my presence. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Roman 8.31. Romans 8.31. <laughs> God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, through the mountain, though the mountains shake with its swelling, that was Psalm 46, uh, 1 through 3. <laughs> For nothing is impossible with God. Luke 1, 37. Every time you affirm your trust in me, you put a coin into my treasury. Thus you build up equity in preparation for days of trouble. I keep safely in my heart all trust invested in me. With interest, with interest compounded continuously. The more you trust me, the more I empower you to do so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The more you trust me, the more I empower you to do so. That is reaping a harvest of trust right there. <laughs> you go from trust levels to trust levels. <laughs> to trample on serpents and devils. <laughs> By walking with the king of glory in the heavenly realms. Hallelujah. The more you trust in me, the more I empower you to do so. So, practice trusting me during quiet days when nothing seems, much seems to be happening. Then when storms come, your trust balance will be sufficient to see you through. Store up for yourself treasure in heaven through placing your trust in me. This practice will keep you in my peace. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I trust. I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? Psalm 56, 3 and 4. <laughs> but store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, where, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 20 to 21. Glory. Father, we just thank you for the ability to put all of our trust in Jesus Christ. You will never let us down, but you always lift us up into heavenly places. Because we've been crushed and broken by the world and the enemy, you have lifted us up to trample and crush the enemy underneath our feet as the body of Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> just by simply remaining in you. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, we give you all the thanks, and we give you all of our trust in the name of Jesus. I'll see you guys in the next video.